Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Pirate Master Murdoch. In today's video, I'm going to be going over ships and everything you really need to know about them, including how to get them, what quests you need to run, and all of that. So let's jump straight to it. Alright, so first things first, the very first pirate ship you can get is the Pirate Skiff, and you can get this in your first playthrough, and I'll show you how to get that in just a second. The next ship that you can craft is the Pirate Sloop, which again I'll show you how to do, and then there is also the Pirate Frigate and the Pirate Galleon. So those are the four ships that you can currently craft in-game, but there are also special limited edition ships like the Rogue Galleon where there's only 90 ever in supply, and those ones you cannot craft, but you can buy on open seas if you would like. So let's show you how to make the skiff. So first things first, you're going to want to head over to this crafting menu here, and then you're going to look at the pirate skiff. And here you're going to see everything you need to craft it. So you're going to need 250 pirate gold or the marks if you don't have an unlocked wallet or a trade license yet or command rank 10. And then you also need two wooden ores. So to do that, all you really have to do is you go over to your quest, you can run load cargo until you have 250 gold, make sure you have enough energy, and then you're going to want to chop more wood. You're going to want to run this twice, and then once you run that twice, you're going to go back to the crafting menu. So once you get into the crafting menu, you're going to want to look for the skiff, which is right here. You can also just type it in like this up here, and then it will show up. Then you'll see everything you need to make the pirate skiff, which is 250 pirate gold or 250 marks if you have not reached command rank 10 or bought a trade license to unlock your wallet for trading and selling. So if not, it'll be marks instead of pirate gold. And then you also need two wooden ores. So to get that, you're going to want to head over to your quest. You're going to want to do the load cargo until you have 250 py pirate gold or marks. So be wary of your energy. And then you're also going to want to chop more wood and you're going to want at least six wood because once you have six wood, then you can go back to the crafting menu and then you got to find the wooden ores, which are right here. And you're going to want to craft two of them, which will be six wood. And then you go back to your skiff and you can craft your first skiff. And then you can use your skiff in the gauntlet, which you can access right over here. So the next three ships are the sloop, which is right in here. And you'll see to craft the sloop, you need a cotton sail, a wooden helm, iron sights, and a completed sloop plan so for this it's also kind of the same thing with the pirate's galleon you'll see it's just got a cannon and then iron sights and con sails and then same thing with the pirate frigate you can see these three are the same but it all still needs a completed frigate galleon or sloop plan so these are the things you're going to want to focus on if you are crafting a ship currently i would suggest making a frigate or a galleon but that's just my personal preference and you'll, you'll see why later on so now you're wondering how do i get these ship plans well in order to do that you have to quest so you go over to your quest here and if you just type in if you type in the frigate you will see right here that there is this quest what the frigate and you can run this quest once every 23 hours you see it requires a high seas map 15 energy and a cutlass and then you can see it gives you a chance of getting all of the ship plans which means you need to run this quest at least four times so now that you know what kind of ship plans you're going after you have to look for these items so you might be wondering how do i get the cutlass and how do i get a high seas map so let's start with the high seas map. So for the high seas map, you'll notice that you have to run one of these quests right here, all of these ones that you can see here to, to know exactly which quest, you can just type in high and it will show you all of the quests that give at least one high sea map for 
a reward and you can see the loot odds are 10% for most of these and I want you to pay attention to negotiation tools where you can get that dagger which is needed for the galleon and then cut to the point with this one is needed for the frigate you can see the cutlass there the little sword and then you can see this one meet billy you can get the billy bat which is the little club looking bat and that's needed for the sloop so keep an eye out for negotiation tools cut the point and meet billy because those are the three quests you need to get the other item with the high seas map that is required to get the ship plans so with that one again you're going to need a faded map and then one of these other tier three items which you'll figure out how to make in just a second and then also note that you can do these quests once every eight hours so these first few quests here all the way up to about lost isle of gold are pretty much the ones you want to run bobo's bounty and all of these later ones you can run if you have you know extra totems and have the extra energy to do so but these ones are much more expensive but they do give better odds but you can also get some pretty bad items as well so it's at your own risk it's a gambler's choice but that's how you get high seas maps so now you're wondering how do i get faded maps and how do i get compasses and all of the other tier three items well faded maps and stuff can actually be won through the gauntlet as well as through quests so you just type in faded and it'll show you all the quests that give you faded maps as rewards and you can do this you just search up every single item you need here in the search bar and it'll show you which items you need so if we jump back over to the ships here you'll see now that we know how to get a completed frigate plan by you know just following a top-down approach from going from the plan you need and down to what you need to get it you can also see that once you have the completed frigate plans you also need to get iron cannon iron armor and cotton sail which luckily for you they can be crafted right here in the crafting menu which you can see here are the five items right here they're all uncommon you can search them up in the search bar if you can't find them and you'll notice that all of these ones you can see the iron cannon the iron armor and the iron sights all need a lot of iron so make sure you get lots of iron the sail requires a lot of cotton and then the wooden helm needs a lot of wood and then you also notice there's these other items here the wooden column the cannon fuse the iron rivets the iron needle and the hemp rope and you're probably wondering how do i get these items well you get those items in the quest menu so if you go over to your quest and you just go into the search bar and you type them in so we type in hemp and then you can see all of these give you quests where you can get hemp ropes so this one you can see you have a 1.5 chance this one you can see you have a 20 percent chance but you have to burn one and then this is the big quest right here defeat the the merman king this is a quest you should probably run if you can because if you look you get a 20 percent chance at a faded map which you need to get high seas maps and you also get a chance of getting the hemp rope and there are quite a few uh quests that all have the uh, items you're looking for and you can actually just scroll down to them so if you go out of the search and you use your scroll bar and you go all the way down right to about here you can see hunt the mecha whale this one you can get the cannon fuse and the iron rivets so you're going to want to run this quest a lot to get a lot of cannons and whatnot and then you can see weather the storm and get the iron needle and the wooden column again you're going to want to be running these two quests a lot hunt the mecha whale weather the storm and you require 14 energy and tier 3 items and i'll show you how to get that in just a second because those are really important as well and the last one you really want to focus on is defeat the mer king which again or merman king which you get the hemp rope and you can see it requires all tier 3 items and 14 energy and i believe you need a pirate to be level 14 maybe it's 12 i'm not exactly sure but you'll unlock it when you can and these are the quests you want to run to get the items 
that you need other than the ship plans. So once you've completed all of those, then you can go back to the crafting menu. You can craft your completed plan for whichever pirate ship you're going for, and then you can craft your pirate ship. And this will give you a huge advantage in the gauntlet because if we go back over here, you can see the pirate skip only has 200 health, but the sloop has 250 plus two slots where you can equip other things that give it bonuses. And these give it bonus cards. And that's a whole other story. There'll be a whole other video about that. You can see the Pirate Frigate has 350 health and three slots, which are really good because that's three new cards you can add to your deck. And then the Galleon, you can see, has 300 health and three slots as well. So if you had to choose, I personally would choose the Pirate Frigate because it's got three slots as well as 50 more health than the Galleon and 100 more than the Sloop and 150 more than the Skiff. So it's definitely worth it, in my opinion, to focus on the Pirate Frigate. So now if we go back over into the questing menu, you can see here that the chop wood, harvest cotton, and mine iron, these are your tier 1 items, which you need to get to your tier 3 items, which we saw that we needed for all of the quests to get ships. So what you want to do is you want to farm out these tier 1 items right here. Once you have those tier 1 items, you want to go to your crafting menu and then you're going to want to build your tier 2 items which are the cotton net, the wooden ore, and the iron anchor. These are your tier 2 items which you're going to want a lot of and once you have those you go back to your quest and then you're going to scroll right down to collect the mermaid scales, catch the smugglers, and ambush the traders and you can see here these burn your tier 2 items with energy so you're going to need energy and that gives you your tier 3 items so as you can see here getting these tier 3 items is quite a challenge because it requires energy as well as tier 2 items so you kind of have to do it in stages getting tier 1 crafting to tier 2 and then tier 2 to 3 is doing more quests so you can see you're going to end up using a lot of energy and a lot of tier 1 and 2 resources to get these tier 3 items which are then needed to make ships. So that covers pretty much everything you need to know about ships. So that covers pretty much everything you need to know about ships. If you have more questions, feel free to comment below, reach out on Discord or reach out on Twitter towards me and I'll try to answer. You can also ask in the Pirate Nation Discord and people will help. But for now, that's all for this video and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr